some of the goddamn African who are in the United States who have the voice and the knowledge to speak against all this barbarian out of this so-called the Chinese, they are busy fighting mega comrade. They are busy criticizing me. They are busy criticizing Omoy Yelesh Ure. Common sense is not common to them. They are, they are, what do I call them? A fool, mosquito, nuisance. They don't know what they are doing. Why would anybody criticize it? Insulting or more election worry. What have you done when Muhammad Buhari is rolling all over them? I want to show you. I have a message for the Chinese authority. So this is where I'm going to start. This is Mega Combo. Today's date is September. I repeat, Tuesday, September 25th, 2018. Tuesday, September 25th, 2018. Here is a direct message to the Chinese people. If you think taking African lives is going to make you happy, is going to make you occupy all over Africa, I want you to know this is Mega Comrade, the leader of People Freedom Movement. The president of the innocent person is a worldwide. I repeat, the president of the innocent person is a worldwide. The commander in chief of the defenseless and the voiceless, the tiger and the lion command, the king of the poor. I have a message for all the Chinese citizens, home and abroad, both in the United States, both anywhere, wherever you are. Let me tell you, if you dare kill one more African citizen in your country, I swear to God, you get another thing coming for you. And I'm calling on all African youths, all African organizations, all African father, mother, to rise up against China oppression. We are telling the Chinese people to pack their bag and baggage and leave Africa for Africa alone. Africa is not a Chinese territory. I will never come to China I will never seek any help for China and I don't even think I have nothing to do with the Chinese government. They are criminals. They are crook. They rip what they don't sell. They have stolen enough from America. They have stolen enough from all the old world. Now today, Chinese government are, are all over Africa. They have taken total control of Africa. They have taken the advantage of our political criminals. They took advantage that our political bad leaders, they know that they can bribe them, they can get them with money. Chinese right now, they even have a Chinese chief police in Zambia, as I speak now. That was not bad enough. I want to show you what Chinese man just did. I want you, what, what did the African did to deserve all this? Just by dirty. A lot of Chinese are in America here. They are constituting users. They are criminals. They stole vehicles. They ship them to their country. They print money. They involve in all kind of atrocity in America. Chinese. I am saying it, yes. If China is not for the black people, what the hell is China doing outside? They are 1.3 billion. Now it has come to the state that Chinese. South Africa have killed us. Now China is not killing us one by one. I want to quickly, there's no way I will see this. I will be happy or I will go out for dinner to go with my family and eat. No. No way. No way. And I want everyone, as you wake up this morning or the next morning, I want you to share this video. Send it to the Chinese High Commission. We are telling you, pack your money, Pack your bag, pack everything, and leave African resources for African people. If you think all these old, old leaders, all these old vampires, old coyotes, and old cheaters, leaders of Africa, if you think they can sell our destiny for you, 
you have another thing coming for you. That is a poor blank message with no feedback. You have another thing coming for you. Let me tell you, there are more than millions of millions of mega comet out there. I am telling you, you cannot continue to kill Africans while you are killing us in your country. You are killing us in our continent. You are killing us in our country. And you are be given a rose rose or be given a red carpet in Nigeria and all over Africa. I mean, imagine. Why would Africa not date a Chinese woman? Where is it written in the United Nations that no black man will be allowed to date a Chinese citizen? So this is what Obaseki wants to bring to Nigeria and to state. This is what Muhammad Buhari has brought to us. I think this is a wake-up call for all Nigerians. So let me show you why I am furious. Right now, let me show you. This is what they did to a Zambia man. As you can see that these are Chinese national. <laughs> You see how he's bleeding? <laughs> At the end of the day, this young man, this young man died. His mother are in Africa. His parents are in Africa. This is a young man who left Africa to go to China and study engineering. Let me quickly go. A Zambia student in Chinese. This individual was murdered by Chinese nationals for dating a Chinese woman on the line. This young African, 25 years old student, a civil engineering student, was murdered, point blank, in China. What was the offense he committed? By dating a Chinese national. As I speak, four of them are working freely in China. Zambia is completely dead. Zambia is in the hand of Chinese government. Nigeria is about to sink. It's already collapsed. Mohamed Buhari and Obaseki have destroyed Nigeria. They have destroyed Nigeria. Obaseki become Mohamed Buhari deputy president. He become the vice president of Nigeria, no longer Osimbajo. Obaseki, Obaseki, anything Obaseki put his hand is problem. Is problem. You know what I'm saying? Obaseki is the architect of Chinese invasion. We are telling every brothers and sisters in Africa, wake up, wake up and rise up against the oppressors. Wake up and rise up against the Chinese who are coming to our land and steal our mineral resources, steal our oil, steal our money, steal everything, and invade our land with 1.3 billion of Chinese citizens. They have no home, they don't have a place to live, but they want to come and recolonize Africa. Enough of all this oppression. We are not going to tolerate it. I am calling on all African youth, rise up against your leader. Enough is enough. Revolution is time for revolution in every part of Africa. Rise up against them. If you do not, and you do not listen to this, watch, Chinese, they will cook you like a geisha, and they will grind your body like a beef, and they will packet it for you to eat. You'll be eating your own sister. You'll be eating your own brother. You'll be eating your own family. I am telling you, they will grind your bone and turn it to rice. Mark my word. 
23 September, Tuesday, September 25, 2017. If you refuse to listen to me, you will remember me. I don't give a damn about Chinese. To hell with the Chinese authority. To hell with them. They are criminal. Chinese are manipulators. They have destroyed everywhere they go. They destroy America. They destroy and they stole everything in America. And they are buying Even in Italy, Chinese have taken over. If Chinese can take over the Europeans, who are you in Africa to fight against the Chinese? Here you are, Chinese are killing us one by one. They kill us by everything. Even Chinese... Oh God, Akatanka. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, this is no joke. Xenophobia in China must be stopped. Xenophobia in China must be stopped. I do not want to wait after seeing this video. I come back tomorrow and be say about China and Governor Gabriel Bazeki. This is a direct message for you. Let me tell you what you are about to step your leg into. This is not a Kambiakwa market. This is not business as usual. Let me tell you, you have two years and a half left in your office. Two years and a half. Have you think of how you're going to survive it? You might have the power now. Have you ever thought of what if, what if when I'm no longer a governor? When I'm no longer anybody, have you thought of it? Mohamed Buhari. Mohamed Buhari. President is not forever. It's not a permanent seat for you. It's not a permanent title for you. Imagine Gulo Jonathan today. He cannot say nothing to you. You will be like that very soon, 2016. If you are not careful, Mohamed Buhari, you will rush to jail. You will rush to jail. If you are not careful, you will rush in jail. And Obaseki will rush in hell. As Obaseki has systematically be important Chinese foreigners into a land to take total of our gas or a state gas alone is larger than your West African gas. Well, what is Obaseki doing with the money? Obaseki is nothing but a crook, a criminal, an architect of Ponzi scheme. That is what he is. Obaseki, and he was a engineer back at the Rosa Okubo, Dr. Damage. And what they call him? APC National Chairman, Adam Ali Oshomole. Akataka. Even my money is very bad. I wish I had money today. I would be in New York. How can Mohammed Buhari with the show Nigeria will come to America and be enjoying with his wife? Who the hell bull monkey? Where are the Nigerians in New York? Shame on you. Shame on you. You all have the audacity to come to the social media and say, a mega company. Hey, Adam, what the hell is wrong with you? Huh? What the hell is wrong with you? For you to allow Mohammed Buhari to come and be parading, enjoy it. Enjoy in New York City, where you are. You are so scared, you are punk. Tell me the kind of schedule you want. I will give you one. Tell me if it's pink. That's all you need. We are warning you, God, nobody's like Nobody's begging you. Look at my face. Nobody, nobody's like you destroy those things with Oshomule. You were the architect of all. Oshomule is 100% better than you. 1 million percent better than you. 1 million. Oshomule is 1 million percent better than you. You were with Oshomule for 8 years. Now you cannot cry. Every, every way, was every sister Oshomule used to scam it. And it's a pity. So called the lazy youth. They will even come out. Their life is already jabrata. Their life is jabrata. Their destiny is jabrata. They cannot, they don't have nothing good for themselves. All they are doing, they are just for, for stomach infrastructure. That's all. That's all. You, you are with me here very soon. Revolution is on its way. You heard me? Revolution is on its way. This is my direct message. Chinese people should leave Africa for Africa alone. Chinese people should leave Africa. We do not need a second colony. I am the tiger and the lion combat. I, when I speak, I speak for millions of people. 
I am urging every citizen, Senegalese, Gambia, Burkina Faso, Zambia, Kenya, rise up against your goddamn mother talking leader who are killing us secretly. Rise up against them and throw them out of power. Throw them out of power. Get your voters card and throw them out one by one. Who the hell is Chinese to come there and be killing us and be serving us with our brothers, dead brothers and dead sisters? Do you know how many Chinese, how many, how many human beings Chinese eat in Africa? They eat humans, if you don't know. I said it. Chinese eat human. They feed with human. Uh, 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 uh. Listen. You uh, know what? I'm coming to New York. I will. I, 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 I. No problem. You know what? Yeah, we need a table. They say I shouldn't be cursing. The fire of God will light upon the Chinese very soon. The fire of God Almighty will light upon you people. All the bad leaders, Muhammad Buhari, number one. God Almighty will torment you very soon. I will be praying for you people. They said I should not insult. Fine. But I will be praying for you people. God of darkness will visit Muhammad Buhari and including his own wife, Asha. Is this Asha they call her? No. Muhammad Buhari and your. Listen. Somebody should send this video to them in New York. Send it to them. Someone should send this video to him and his wife. There is no safe haven for you, Muhammad Buhari. You have few few years left. How many people are you going to kill? How many people are you going to kill? You killer. You are a